So if you have a spare one of these, you'll probably want to pick up this. Today we're gonna to talk about how to recycle your spare SSD to make it a useful external drive. Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, so make sure that you have an NVMe SSD for this. This is one of the higher end SSDs that come in most modern laptops. There are different enclosures for SATA versions as well, but this is the AdWits USB 3.1. It goes for 56 bucks on Amazon. And we have the metal enclosure here, it has a nice little LED that lights up. And so it's all metal too, just really nice design. It's a little rattly right now because some of the screws are loose on the inside. For components, don't worry, you don't need any special tools. They give you the screwdriver, that's all you'll need. You also get some spare screws in case you lose them, always handy to have. And if you're wondering what this blue stuff is, well, this is thermal pad, so you can put this on the SSD to help dissipate heat in there, really nice. If you're wondering what that rubber strip is, well, right now the screws are exposed, but once you're all done, you can add this rubber strip in there to give some grip so it doesn't slide off the table. Opening up the enclosure is pretty easy. You just have two screws and make sure you don't lose those, but you do have spares just in case. So just take off the cover and put that to the side. And now you see the board, but there's no place to put the SSD on it. It's because it's on the other side. So you have to take this off. To do so, there are two screws near the board here. Just need to remove those and then you can pry off the bottom. And now with the board out, you can see there's a single screw here. So you're gonna to want to loosen that up. That's what's gonna hold down the SSD in place. You don't need to actually remove it, but just loosen enough so it just kind of rattles around there. Now you flip around to the other side and you can see the connector for the SSD. So just take your SSD now and slide it on in. Now line up the set screw to make sure it's gripped on there. As you're holding it, you just kind of screw it in and I'll lock down that SSD to make sure it doesn't slide around. And before we plop it back in there, you're gonna to wanna to add the thermal pad to it. So just grab a strip and there's plastic on both sides. So you just peel that off and just stick it. It's like a wad of gum. You just stick it on top. And don't forget to peel off that second side as well when you're all set. Now we're ready to put the SSD in. So you do it face down and just make sure you slide that type C connector in through the front there until it clears and then plop down the board. And now simply just reassemble it like you did before. When it's all locked up, you'll have those two screws exposed. You can cover that up with the included little rubber strip here, which will add a rubber grips on there so it doesn't slide off the table. And that's it. The SSD is now fully enclosed in there with the board and everything. You have a Type-C port in the front, which you can use the included cable for to connect to your laptop. Now you can use it with a Type-A cable or there's also an included Type-C to Type-C if you have a more modern laptop as well. And there we go, everything is working as expected here. We're using a Samsung SSD here, and it's working beautifully. Now I should mention before you remove your SSD from your laptop, make sure you disable BitLocker. Otherwise, when you plug into an external device, it will be encrypted and you won't be able to access it. You'll need that BitLocker key to unlock it. You can still recover it from your Microsoft account. Just keep that in mind. Should also mention that this requires USB 3.1. A lot of laptops only have 3.0, so consult your manufacturer before you purchase this. Devices like the Surface Pro 6, believe it or not, only have a USB 3.0 port, therefore can't handle all the data that this drive puts out. All right, if you want more information about this adapter, make sure you go to the description below as we'll have links on where you can get it. If you have any tips for us as well on how to make better use of your spare SSD, leave them in a comment. Otherwise, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.